we've a we've now achieved what we came here to do. So who's ready to take on Sentinel? Yo, Jenna has 999 HP. That may be the max, right? I don't think you can go past that, right? She's not at the max amount of uh, of HP that she can have. All right, let's go, Sentinel. I am the guardian of wind. If you would claim my power, you must prove your worth. Love this song. This is probably my favorite battle music. Go let it rock. I'm actually going to use Kite on myself. That way, next turn, I can just do a double angel, uh, a double, um, actually, no. Let's use Kite on Jenna. That way, next turn, she can double angel spear and save us a turn, right? I wonder if I can dull him. I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. Oh, okay. He just negated the whole thing. God dang it. He broke me. Jesus, his armor crush looks ridiculous. Uh, Angel Spear? It's an Angel Spear? It's a... Sure, well... Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's go back to Cure Well. So I can't lower his stats. Not as good as, not as powerful as I was hoping for, but you know, whatever. Sir, that is not a win move. I thought she said you were the guardian of win. Okay. Two Shay. <laughs> Two flipping Shay. Oh, do I not have any fire? Oh, it's all on him. Um, I guess I can use Flash, right? Uh, Angel Spear. Attack. Uh, let's go with Pure Wish. Feels so good to pure wish. I forgot he can attack three times. I guess that's where the win part comes in, right? Uh, summon Megara. 
Attack, attack. Megido! Smash! Not over a thousand because his defense is up, but whatever. Four ninety nine, I'll take it. Now my stuff should be at max now. And now it's back in zero. <laughs> and now it's back in zero. Some told me to hold that Mega until after he attacked. Oh man, he restores 600 HP. Now I don't have to worry about single target healing because Pure Wish basically just does it all. kite myself, right? That way I can try to get as many Megiddos off as I possibly can. I'm so lucky that Mia gets so much MP back. Alright, sir, you need to calm down, okay? You need to calm down. You're doing way too much. Uh, physical attacks, uh, pure wish. Mia's basically gonna do nothing but pure wish this entire time. Oh, he didn't do... A single Megiddo. I hate when he breaks. When he breaks, it's so annoying. Block damage. Once again, use Angel Spear. Physically attack. Cure Wish. I really hate this guy. <laughs> Is that bad to say, right? Like, I really hate this guy. I hate anybody that can use break. Honestly. If you can use break, you're my worst enemy. My, my strategy. You know, that's something I haven't seen him do all that often. He hasn't physically attacked me all that often. His defense is already maxed out. He keeps trying to raise it even uh, higher. I'm only raising my attack to match his defense up. Giant rock says boom! Chicka pow! Well, that's a new one. In terms of he hasn't used it yet. Attack, attack, attack. Pure wish. Why 
you gotta be like that, man? Why you gotta be like that? We're gonna use Annihilation. We're gonna use Epicenter. Let's use Frost Spiral. I just wanna see what it looks like. Gnarly! Oh! How quickly I forgot that he can't be targeted by, uh, MP. Well, that's a free turn of HP restor restoration for him. Back to what we were doing before. <laughs> you know what? Let's just do the regular buff for her. The AoE buff seems to not matter much. And Felix doing the max amount of damage he can possibly do seems to be the best course of action, right? Now we do Angel Spear. Think single target attack buffs are better? Yeah, because Felix is definitely doing the most damage. So I wanted to at least give him a boost before I boost the entire team, right? Especially if he's going to heal 200 every turn. Yo, my defense is low enough. Thank you very much. I'm going to kill this guy. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. With fire! Actually, you're supposed to be his potent cure. Pure Wish is extremely broken. I love it! <laughs> None of my defense can go down anymore, you jerk! My defense is already as low as it can possibly go. Oh, your defense isn't low enough. Let me make it lower. I'm actually okay with you just doing this over and over again. Yep. Bring on the AoE attacks. Anything's better than using break. I love that Megiddo allows me to stay ahead of his HP regeneration. No matter what. Tupio, how's it going? Wait, wait. It's Vincent, right? Did I get it right? Am I... Am I awesome or am I a loser? <laughs> oh, it's Vincent. Okay, sweet. How's it going, Vincent? Welcome on back in. Happy almost New Year to you. We're just finishing up the uh, the optional bosses in uh, Golden Sun before moving on to the final boss. Uh, we have this one. The only one left is um, Dullahan after this one. So very soon we will be finishing up this game. We're, we're looking to finish the game today. Definitely. Um, and then we'll probably do... We'll either do some old school RuinScape or some Pokemon afterwards. Oh look, I got Magma Storm. Because the, the Cinderace raids are live right now. 
So I'm thinking we probably do that. I left my switch upstairs though. I can get it during a break though, so. You'll be right back, sounds good. Catastrophe! Five Jupiter, three Mars. Bye, what's up, buddy? That thing kicks teeth in there. Are you talking about Sentinel? Or are you talking about uh, Cinderace? Oh, Cinderace, okay. Yeah, I heard he's pretty, uh, pretty broken. I've seen people building up Slowbro, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to build the Slowbro that I have um, up and use him in the, uh, in the battles. Because I, I got my shiny, my shiny Slowpoke last night, so I think I'm going to, to, uh, what's to call it, uh, Hyper Train him, um, and then EV Train him, and then... Allow him to actually allow him to be my Pokemon in the raid events, but I'm also gonna use him in uh, what's the thing called? Um, what's the thing called? Competitive. <laughs> I swear my mind isn't going away. Yeah, Battle Spike. I'm gonna be using it uh, in rank mode though. I think it's still called that. I'm just trying to. I haven't done any competitive yet. I've been building a bunch of different competitive Pokemon so that I can have a wide variety of choices um, for my team, you know? Um, I wanted Slow King, but after hunting for like two hours yesterday. I was only able to find one Slowbro, uh, Slowpoke Shiny. Granted, I probably had more. I just couldn't tell because flipping Slowpoke is Shiny is slightly different than a regular one, so you can't really tell. It's like Shiny Slowpoke is slightly lighter colored than regular Slowpoke, but regular Slowpink isn't that uh, Slowpoke isn't that dark of a pink. So it's like, oh my god. So, uh, even with using the uh, the sandwich buffs, the sparking buffs, I mean the sparkling buffs, I I found like two of them. No, I found one of them, and I probably missed a couple. Stupid slowpoke! I hate all shinies that are slightly different color variations than uh, its normal one. Like if they were gonna do that. They could have at least did something like what they do in Smash Brothers, where they, uh... If you have two people with the same color variation, they, like, make one, like, this super white outlined Pokemon or character. Give me a second, I'm about to blow my nose. Auto battles don't auto fight shiny Pokemon. Yeah, I tried that too, but I ended up the the uh, what's it called the uh, outbreak ended up uh, ending. Maybe because I killed too many of them. Yeah, once it got to the point where it was like the amount of Pokemon are extremely low. Um, I stopped trying to because I didn't want it to end. I ended up ending it anyway. Alright, now we have to do this like 15 million times until we, uh, we finish. Then we go fight Dillahan. So yeah, at that point I just started trying to run into everyone that looked like it was slightly lighter than a regular Slowpoke. Nah. I was hoping just to find a shiny slow bro. Because I'm, I'm also working on the shiny living decks. So I need it 
two more slow pokes so that I could have a shiny slow poke, a shiny slow bro, a slimy slow king, a shiny slow king. I'm already completed the Dratini line, at least. Uh, raises firepower and resists. Alright, talk to him again. I want you to make something out of the second lizard's tail. Yay! Do it! But yeah, how have you been, Value? How has life been treating you? We missed you here, man. What have you been up to? Something fun, I hope, right? I like fun stuff. Classes? Yeah, sounds about right. I haven't been doing any physical classes yet. I've been, I mean, like, in-person classes, like, real schooling. I've been taking, like, online, kind of, like, learn-at-your-own-time type classes. For the CompTIA stuff. Now I'm just doing practice exam over and over again until I am able to remember, uh... Until I'm able to memorize the information on the test. Um, so that I can attempt to do... Uh, you know, the the A-plus exam. Your winter semester starts next semester, so I'm next week. Um, so you're back to your new 8 a.m. classes? Oh, that's unfortunate. Down with the 8 a.m. classes. Alright, is there anything on her? No, she doesn't have anything, right? No, she's empty. Ah, but you have, like, everything. You have two Dark Matters and two Ori Calkins. Well, good luck on that. I've had pretty bad luck with who your Calc 2 professor was. He wasn't great. Yeah. A bad professor or even just a rude professor can really destroy your motivation for wanting to actually attend a class. It's like, I want to learn this stuff, but I don't want to sit there and deal with the craziness that is that person. That's what happens when you don't have any seniority in the department. You're stuck on uh, the bad schedules. A shield that's cursed and raises attack. So is everything that's made from dark matter cursed? After attending his class, I saw a bunch of students' reviews telling everyone to avoid them. Yep. Last semester was rough for one of my classes, just couldn't keep up with the grading or feedback. Gotcha. Was it because there was just a lot of it? Yeah, I'm planning on doing some uh, help desk technician courses um, that don't start to the end of January, so I'll be doing that. Hey, we're not a charity. If you can't pay for it, you don't get it. Oh, so it literally only ever makes Terra Shield. And you could be a charity if you wanted. This is so time consuming. Get out of the way, dude! Why is he walking back? Why is he pacing back and forth in the worst possible place? Who does this? Get out of the way! Jesus! Internet grading some big assignments and just use their exam scores, which were very high. So nobody's complaining. Just don't let anybody else know that you did that. Zalion armor. Hmm. 
This one also raises attack. So I lose 4 defense, but I gain 20 attack. You know, I think that's fine. Right? I think I'm okay with that. Twenty attack. You know what? I'm just gonna give it to him. That's fine. Felix is strong enough. All right, we have one more Ori Kalkin. So if this one makes another one of the armor pieces, then I'll wear that again. Oh my god, this guy's standing in the middle. Why? Could somebody please use wind or something and blow him out of the way? Like, what is he doing here? Move! Like, every time I walk past him, he moves into my pet. Big bang gloves. Ooh, that sounds fun. Raises firepower. Um... Well, I guess she has the most firepower right now, right? Um, raises power points. I'll give it to Mia because she's our healer, right? I'll give it to her just because she's the healer. So even if I take this from her, she's still the fastest person on my team. Um, his attack will drop significantly. His not so much. We'll give it to him. Yes, I do. Alright, so now we want you to work with, um, I have three golem cores, my friend. Can you do something with those? I wish this wasn't so time consuming. I wish you could skip a bunch of this. He moves so slow, though, and it's kind of annoying. Out of the way. Oh my god. You know what? The next time I pass by that guy, I'm going to make sure I bring a rope and tie him to the, the fence so he'd stay out of the way. Ooh, guy's axe. That sounds like fun. I mean, we already all know that there's nothing going to be any... Nothing's going to be stronger than what I currently already have. For Felix, that is. There's absolutely no way there's gonna be a stronger weapon than the Soul Blades. So yeah, how much uh, how much more do you have left in the classes, uh, Vayu? I'm actually surprised you guys aren't out for a break. Or are you? Five semesters, okay. Are you going for an associate's or a bachelor's? Or your masters. Or even higher. <laughs> well, I am. That's why I'm here. Yeah, I kind of figured. Uh, raises HP and defense. Alright, so defense goes up by 2, 5... Uh, that goes up by four, seven, and five. Uh, we're gonna give it to her because it's by seven, right? She still has leather boots on? Oh, 
All right, so we end up selling that. Batches might go for higher after you find stable work. Okay. Fair enough. So are we doing bachelors in... I was going to say fine dining, but that's clearly not what you're going for. Who needs calculus for fine dining, right? Sure, Calc is Jin up to Jin Ed up to Calc one, but I mean, who's using math for fine dining? I mean, you're using basic math just to calculate how much you got to pay for all the food you're probably gonna eat. But outside of that, yeah, who's gonna use calculus for that, right? Another one that raises HP. Well, give it to him. Alright, I think we only have the silver left, right? You're running out of time to go back if you wanted to, you mean to school? You don't want to be finishing a doctorate at 50? I guess. I mean, my mother-in-law, not mother-in-law, my uh, stepmother is doing the same thing, I believe. Like, she's still in school now, and she's pushing 50, if not already. I don't never, I don't know her exact age. I do believe she's younger than my, fa my father, so I believe she's still in her late 40s, because my dad is like 51. So it's not unheard of, right? I know my aunt wants to try to go back to school and she's coming up on 50. Uh, 50. What? A helmet that lets me dodge attacks? Yes, please. Are you telling me I get to dodge more attacks? Now, I, I like her having the restore PP thing on her. I'm just gonna sell the, the cat, man. I'm just gonna sell it. It's not common, but it's not unusual or anything? Yeah. Time to decide what I would even go back to uh, specifically study. Yeah. For me, I don't want to do, like, the classes I'm gonna be taking right now are. Classes that are pay out of pocket pocketable, you know, um, I don't want to go back and do like big classes that require me to have financial aid and all that kind of stuff and so one I either get rid of the debt that I already have um, Or I'm able to I'm in a stable enough job that me going back to school. I'm able to pay off those loans You know I'm able to pay off a decent amount monthly as opposed to you know, doing the $200 a month type thing because I can't afford to pay 560 or 800 uh, 600 bucks a month for, you know, student loans. Like right now, they're trying to make me pay that much a month for stuff that I'm not even using. Like I, I don't even use any of the stuff that I was supposedly going to school for. And that's just because I wasn't intending to go to school for said things. I got stuck uh, because the school that I was going to kind of tricked me into it. By telling me like, oh, if you start here, you can get here. And then they were like, oh, but you need this to get here. You also need this to get here. And you still need this to get here. And they kind of like moving the goalpost constantly. I'm like, okay, well then... <laughs> Am I ever going to be there?
So it got to the point where the classes were too expensive and I wasn't making enough money. A doctor has to be very specific, so I'd have to find a niche and it would have um and it it would even be worth it. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm gonna be I'm moving I'm, my goal is to move into the IT field, so any any and everything I do is for that reason in particular. So I would like to get a bachelor's degree in the IT field, but for now I'm just trying to get a job in the IT field. I was doing that with programming before the pandemic, but then that took a backseat. Fair enough. I was doing building engineering. Um, up until, uh, what? Two weeks ago. Um, but after being in that field since 2013 and not seeing any any amount of growth whatsoever, I just I I decided that I would rather have spent my time trying to learn IT, which is what I should have did to begin with. Um, I went for the building engineering field just because it's what my dad does. Um, and I while in high school, I spent a lot of time you know working with him. I'm helping him with all the stuff that he did. Um, but it just didn't work out. Not enough progression. In nine years of work, I only got promoted one time. My bad, nine and a half years of work, technically. Because my nine year mark was in uh, July. I was only able to get one promotion, and then any time after that, despite the amount of work I put into studying, training, all that kind of stuff, I always kept getting the, oh, you have great work ethic, and we like you, but we don't think you're ready, constantly. And I was like, yeah, nah, I'm done. Um, and it, it's it's weird because, in how the people the people in my building were getting promoted, just not me. Like, they brought in this new engineer and promoted him six months after he got there to the position that I was gunning for. Despite the fact that I had the qualifications, they just didn't like me. It could also be that we got the union brought into the building because a lot of us were afraid, afraid for our jobs because they were firing people left or right. Um... And then they started doing even more so when we the union talk started. They were trying to get rid of anybody that would want the union. So they started just firing people for stupid reasons. Like, they fired one dude because he got caught in our executive lounge. It's a lounge on our 14th floor of the hotel uh, where, you know, high-level guests would go into. Um... They say he was in there on his phone. Mind you, we have little iPhone uh, for work. They, we have like these little iPhones about the size of my phone that we use for, um, that we have software on that we use to scan QR codes and do our, our PMs and whatnot. Um, so like we go and we check on the refrigerators, make sure refrigerant and all that stuff is good. Make sure, all the, make sure it's working in order. We scan the back of it answer the questions, um, scan it back out, and so on and so forth. So the, the the employee was in there doing this. He was checking the wine system, the wine cooler, or the wine chiller, I should say, checking the two refrigerators, my bad, checking the two kitchen refrigerators and then the two big refrigerators that, um, that they keep outside in the guest area with all the sodas and waters and whatnot that they can just go in and take. So he was in there doing that, and he was, you know, on his phone answering questions and whatnot. Security comes in, sees him in there doing that, assumes he's on his phone playing games and just kind of chilling. And he's like, I'm working. I'm supposed to do this. They didn't even bother to ask for any kind of witness testimonies or anything like that. They just fired him. <laughs> this guy saw you doing it. It's got to be true. We don't need to ask. We don't need to hear from anybody else. 
this guy said he found it. It's true. I was like, what? Well, yep. Boom. Yeah. And it was mostly because he was a known union supporter. Like, he, he was, he's been on record supporting a union. So they were just trying to remove him out. And it didn't work. They still got the union in the building. Now they have to deal with it. But, uh, yeah, it, it just really grimy the way they treat people. So, yeah. The, my last straw was the fact that they promoted this other guy from that came in from another hotel. Six months in. And I'm like, I've been here at your hotel for five years. And you're telling me... Um, I've run all your shifts. I've done everything... And yet, you still tell me I'm not ready. And I was like, that's... I was like, yeah, I'm done. At that point, I just shut off. I was like, yeah, I'm going to come to work every day, do the bare minimum that I need to do to get them um, with my day, and then I'm leaving. I'm not doing anything extra. I'm not helping out with anything extra outside of emergencies. <laughs> Just leave me be. That's that's how I was. Yep. Yep, they would tell that's exactly what they did. Tell me to show him around the building, train him on all this other stuff. As if somehow I'm qualified now. I'm like, no, don't do that now. I remember I wasn't qualified just a second ago. Ridiculous. The thing, what, what it was, is I wasn't qualified. So long as I wanted more monetary value, I wasn't qualified. Is there something further back? What's further back than here? The mummy dodged my attack. How? I love Spark Plasma. We both had it in the past as well. Yeah. So yeah, I just kind of stopped. I was like, "Yep, nope. You guys are good." I put my two, my three weeks. Technically, I gave them three weeks so that they had time to find somebody. And I was like, "Yeah, I'm done." I was doing some IT work during the pandemic when I was furloughed. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to focus on that. That's... I found it more fun and more interesting to, to begin with. So I'm just going to put my energy into something that I... You know, that I can at least enjoy. Even if I can't progress as far in it as I want, I can still enjoy it. only quit one job on the spot same nope my bad that's a lie two jobs <laughs>